Vino up, how we live in here. Ooh, that's a nice vino today, secret. All right, we got all that produce from Peter DeJoya last week. We've been doing everything we could with it. We can with it. Okay, here we go. We went artichokes today. We steamed them. We took the choke out. Are we going to stuff them? Boom, put the brakes on. No, we can't just keep eating bread and this and that. We're gonna, they're going to wheel us out of here. I'll be like Hambone from Geraldo. Are you kidding me? So here we go. What I'm going to do is create a little marinade, oil infused type marinade. I'm going to put them on all these artichokes and I'm going to grill them. I've already steamed them. I've already de-choked them, we'll call it. Another new word I just made up. But I want to show you the meat and the leaves, how beautiful they are in these artichokes. I said the uh, garlic was like league balls. These were like 16 inch softballs. These were unbelievable. Unbelievable, look at that. What I'm gonna do to that after grilled. Okay, those are the artichokes. Now we're gonna go to our lemons. We're gonna add some lemon here. Oh boy, frozen, this is like trying to squeeze a Johnny's lemon. Frozen lemons, fridge is too cold, but we're getting through it. Okay. Frozen lemon. Okay, I already squeezed a few. Putting that at the bottom. Okay. For all you people who think I'm measuring, I'm not. I like how it looks. I'm not measuring. So what I'm going to do is just give you a little pepper. Okay, yeah, I'll take more. Granulated garlic. We love it here. Great little trick. Not going to put all that in. See, I'm leaving a little bit. No measure. Stack them. Little cayenne. If you don't want the heat, do not put it. If you want a little heat, put it. Cayenne's not bad. You could digest it easy. It's perfect. Okay? That's what it looks like now. Then we come in with the action. You know what it is. We ain't stuffing chunks of butter. We're not throwing everything in the kitchen sink. I took three things out of the cabinet, three little spices, and now I take my olive oil, right? With my lemon, my cayenne, my pepper, I'm forgetting something. Oh, wait. Secret weapons. Where's the weapon kept in the pocket? Bingo. Basari. You guessed it. It was on artichokes, too. Okay? This has our salt in it, so I'm going to give a little bit extra basari. This is not too much. Since someone always says they do too much sometimes. We know who that is. We won't mention her name today. Okay. I think you need more, though. Uh, I don't. <laughs> no. I don't. That's looking pretty good. See how, so we'll see how it looks after my oil and I whisk it. All right, a little more, you're right. Usually am. Okay, here, so, okay, here we go. Boom, that's all I'm doing. Give him a basari. It's not gonna be a basari choke, it's an artichoke. Okay, a little more oil. But the sea salt is what? Okay, I already put the sea salt in, okay? Now we whisk this all together. Now you're gonna judge, do you need more oil? Yeah, I do, okay? I do. So where do I come? I come high. The waterfall starts now. It's Niagara Falls. We've called it everything else. Now it's a Niagara Fall. It drips. Come low. Bring it back up. High low. That's a high low technique. No one's ever done the high low. We just dumped the whole bottle in. Okay. But nice. Okay. Now all these things should be good. Okay. You've never seen a person whisk like that. I've never seen a person whisk like that. To be honest, I've never whisked like that. So this is just the sloppiest whisk in the city of Chicago, but it works. Again, no one's going to say, hey, how do you whisk those? Was he pretty good? No. Did it all mix up? Yes. Look at it. Gorgeous. Now, you could grab them with your hands, but, you know, it's COVID time. I mauled a chicken the other night. So the artichoke, I'm just going to dip in here. I want to show you how I'm dipping this. Okay. Dipping the choke in here, right? Boom. Boom. Dipping the choke in. Swimming in this stuff. Whew, you could sell that at the store right now. Paul Newman would make billions of dollars selling this. I just made it up right now. Bingo. Down goes Frazier with that choke. Smaller choke. Do less of a dip. Okay? Less of a dip. We're going to dump that over it anyway, whatever we don't use. Okay? As you see, the steam got a little char on there. Took the choke out. Now we're going to get these to the barbecue. I'm going to finish dressing them all up. When I tell you the smell, the lemon infused smell, I love that word infused. All these flavors infused. So good. You have no idea. And so easy. You saw what I put in these. Okay? 
Now, we will be back. These will all be ready to go on the grill, and who knows how I worked the grill. We've never seen it. Thank you. And that, we'll have a dip for you, too. I'm going to have a little dip. I'm going to modify it a little bit, but it's going to be a great dip. Thank you so much. Heck at you. Now we need our dipping sauce, okay? Now we need our dipping sauce. Greek yogurt. So we play with a bunch of little recipes over the years because we are a mayo-free family. Cannot be in the house. It's never been bought. Mayo's never touched. Never seen it. Had the fridge 12, 15 years, whatever we had it. It's never been near my fridge. So we go a Greek, very, Greek yogurt edition of this, okay? Mix your Greek yogurt up. We played around. We've had a few different ones, few different ingredients is what we like. Two, three ski. Just throw it right on the blade. Four ski, blade ski, okay? It's not a Polish recipe. I ski things at the end. Little Dijon. That's about a buck and a half right there. One and a half. Okay, that's why people wear aprons. I don't. Little salt. No salt, so we could just go, you know what? A little bosari. It's gonna blend in nice. Small heat. Small. Bingo. Pinch it. Got that little granulated garlic yet? Use it. Why not? Little olive oil. Mm. Little. Said a little. Okay. Wait. You're forgetting something. What? Oh, my lemon juice. <laughs> <laughs> that was purpose. So we're out of lemons. We've been mauling through these lemons, Peter got us. But I need my lemon juice. Why do I always forget the easiest things? Okay, that's good. I wonder that all the time. Oh, God, she is so funny. Okay. Now, oh. oh, here we go. Man versus food processor. Oh, that wasn't bad. Okay. This is that new tricky food processor my mother-in-law got. I think she got it for me on purpose that I can't use it all of a sudden. Okay. On... Let it whip. Let it whip. Let it whip. I'll tell you when. Still not ready. How do I know? I'm guessing like I do everything else. Somehow, everything turns out good. Could it be the vino? Vino up. I believe so. Done. Done. Okay. Bam. Still. still. Tap first. I can't do this. <laughs> Let me get the manual. Wait a second here. Mike, right. the tap first. <laughs> no, nope, ain't gonna work. The tap first. No, nope, it ain't working either. <laughs> I've lost it. You gotta stop. <laughs> I lost it. No. You gotta I go, I gotta stop. No, this is this is how you cook. Stop! Get out. Okay, before I pour, obviously you know what I need to do. Take a step back. Vino up. Man Bruce Cuisinart. Okay, this has been a few episodes now. It won't stop. But it did turn out. I've apologized. It's apologized. I think I know how to work it now. It's that new Cuisinart. It's <laughs> unbelievable. They changed it. In 2018, they changed it. I haven't used it since 2017. So they did change how you work a Cuisinart, how you take it off. Right. Let's come out. I'm not going to waste any of this. You know what? I just want to get rid of this Cuisinart. I don't care. I might waste a little today. I can't, I, I can't take looking at the Cuisinart anymore. Get out of here. Okay? Okay? Now, I want to do something here. It's a little trick. Perfect tang. Oh, everything just mixed in so good together. This is a great dipping sauce for these artichokes. You listened to what I did. Do it. Please, I'm telling you, this is so good. Just not the Cuisinart part. Do not do what I did to Cuisinart. It almost went. You almost saw Cuisinart through a window. I maintained. I was laughing a little bit. It's just, it's a trick Cuisinart. I am telling you. Trick stove, trick Cuisinart. Okay. We are going to go outside and we will be back in one minute. Okay. Back on the grill now where I belong sometimes. All we're doing to these is charring them. Okay. All we're going to do is char them. We want that nice char. They've already been steamed, like I said. All these, it's just a char. This one might be done, actually. Oh boy, what? almost a dropper. Again, one take McGraw. Okay, all good. We will be back, I'll show you the finished product. Well, I think you're gonna wanna flip it so you get yeah. the char on the other side. I said too. char on both sides, didn't I? I don't know what you I said. I guess you didn't give me that script. Okay, 
Char on both sides. I guess I forgot that one. Got it? Take a look. There's that char we talked about, right? You see it? You see the meat? Oh, wait till we see this. I use a little wet napkin, wet paper towel. I'll go in it like an animal. I'll just go right at it. I'm gonna cut it up though so I get a nice piece here. Okay, we have our little dip. We're gonna call this artichokes a la fresque. No breading, no nothing. See that, our dip, perfect. Outstanding, will not fill you up. Go buy beautiful artichokes. I can't stop eating it. Did you know that April was artichoke season? Oh God, she did her trivia. I do not, I did not know April was artichoke season. So now I'm gonna take a leaf. I usually go to the back for a nice good leaf, okay? See all that? It's all beautiful. Dip, dip. Drip. See that juice? Yeah, we call it a dip, drip, and stick around here. Dip, drip, stick in the mouth, okay? Boom. One more. This you could call Dan in tomorrow. And tell them you got a new yogurt coming on the market. They'll love it. But th this is where it's at, right here. If you don't want to use a fork, don't. It's like butter. Then you just bonk. Won't fill you up. Great artichokes. My wife's face is like you're an animal. I don't care. This is how I eat. I cannot change. Okay? So good. Please use this recipe. You'll get a good laugh out of this video. Okay, we told you one take. I didn't want to do the one take. I didn't want to show you it was Man Bear's food processor, but it was. We'll leave it in. Azalu, we end it one way. God bless. Vino up.